Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Millionaires Club. It is your host, Jordan. Today, we're going to be diving down into an important question. We're actually going to be diving down into the overall transactions per second, and we're going to be diving down into the throughput. So the question is, is will Pulse Chain actually compete against some of the fastest blockchains today, which technically are all forks of ethereum at least when you look into it so diving down ladies and gents smash up that like button to help this video get out to other people but most importantly smash up that subscribe button okay we need you to smash up that subscribe button because once this main net launch happens you need to be there you need to catch the hype all right because we're gonna have a lot of important news to cover so smash up them likes Smash up some subscribes and leave some comments, all right? So Pulse Chain, diving under the goals. You guys can see right here, some of the biggest things, obviously, is to lower lower the fees. So lower Pulse Chain fees, as in lower the gas, right? And serve more users. So Pulse Chain increases the throughput of Ethereum 4x by using three-second block times. Ethereum's average block time is around 12 seconds, 12 to 13 seconds. So ladies and gentlemen, the fact that Pulse Chain is doing it in three seconds and Ethereum obviously does it in 12 to 13 seconds is very, very impressive. This means we have a great opportunity, right, for people to pick Pulse Chain over Ethereum. Now, if we dive down into the test net for the Block Explorer, you guys can see here that there's a lot of important blocks. Not only that, but transactions going through. So it states once again that the average block time is three seconds. Total transactions, massive amount. Total blocks, massive amount. Wallet address, massive amount. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I expect that once the mainnet launch goes live, that all of this information is going to be updated. So we are technically still waiting for proof, I guess I should say. We're still waiting for proof that yes, blocks every three seconds, transactions per second, well, we are still waiting on an update for that. So hopefully someday Richard Hart will let us know. Now, if we go ahead and dive down into some of the fastest of blockchains, now I gotta let you guys know I just found this website from Jumpstart. If you guys would like to leave some comments down below and tell us if you agree with any of these or let us know of any blockchains that you believe that are extremely fast or could be the fastest, right? So our, our goal here is to see if Pulse Chain can actually compete with any of these other forks or any other blockchains, right? So right here, BitGert Chain, that is obviously number one, or at least the team, the BitGert team claims that their blockchain has the fastest transactions per second of 100,000. This is actually enabled by its proof of authority, also known as a POA consensus, where validators state their own reputation instead of coins. And if you guys take a look, whenever it comes to the transaction fees, I mean, literally, there is no cost here. Absolutely crazy. So its gas fee-free environment has been behind its immense growth. Absolutely crazy. So next, we got Solana. All right, so Solana... Technically founded in 2017, Solana blockchain is the second fastest blockchain with a transaction speed of 50,000 transactions per second. And once again, you guys, once again, the fees are very low, like they're way less than a penny, which is absolutely incredible. So it utilizes what is known as proof of history, also known as POH, and proof of stake consensus mechanisms. So this is probably why a lot of people we're actually using the Solana blockchain, especially whenever it comes to NFTs. At least Solana is one of the biggest, right? Next, we got Phantom. So it states right here that, so Phantom is a blockchain platform that formed in 2018, right? So the company boasts of a speed of 25,000 transactions per second. The company employs what is known as direct acrylic Graph, also known as DAG, in place of blockchain tech that works like a gossip protocol when it comes to validating transactions. So that is uh, pretty important. That's pretty important. Plus, the platform is known for its high scalability. So the blockchain recently dropped 22% in valuation after the exit of one of its employees. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, overall transactions per second, absolutely crazy, along with the Block Explorer, right? 
Next, we got Algo, Algo Ridden. So this was founded in 2019. It states that the network can handle up to 1,300 transactions per second with a goal of 3,000 transactions per second soon. The blockchain uses what is known as pure proof of stake mechanism. This is where miners are randomly picked and rewarded for their work, thus eliminating any type of bias. So important, important. And last but not least, you guys can see that we have Cardano. So Cardano is a blockchain that focuses community participation and security. It is the first peer reviewed and academically developed blockchain. While it doesn't have the fastest transaction speed on its list, it does offer a high degree of security. Transactions are confirmed just a few seconds and it boasts a speed of 250 transactions per second. Currently, the platform is working to increasing the speed to 1,000 transactions per second. So ladies and gentlemen, these are definitely some fast blockchains. And like I stated, there's probably a lot more out there, right? There's probably a lot more out there. So the big question of today is, will Pulse Chain absolutely be able to, uh, to compete against these other fast blockchains? And I'm going to have to admit that, yeah, most likely. I believe that Richard Hart is probably making it to the point to where the blockchain is faster, right? He stated this before in a tweet that he's trying to make it faster. He's trying to make the throughput faster, which means that technically the transactions per second are going to be a lot faster as well, which would be absolutely incredible, right? So the question is, is will it have any type of competition against these blockchains and i believe so ladies and gentlemen now remember technically we're not looking to be a competitor we're just supposed to be looking to be a more efficient blockchain right we're supposed to help the overall uh gas fees output everything whenever it comes to ethereum obviously ethereum is still supposed to be doing their upgrade but they have not all right so let us know exactly what do you guys think about this what do you guys think? What do you guys think whenever it comes to transactions per second? What do you guys think it's going to be? What do you guys think uh, for the average block time? Do you think it's going to have any type of competition as stated against these uh, big cryptos? All right. So ladies and gentlemen, let us know exactly what you think. All right. So smash up that like button. Smash up that subscribe button. Help this channel get out to the public. Very, very, very important. All right. And remember... Main that launch happens, we're going to be there. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have a beautiful day, and we'll see you in our next video. And ciao.